Hey guys, this is Sports with Dylan. As I've mentioned way too many times already, today was the NFL trade deadline, and we got some extremely surprising trades, including the fact that TJ Hawkinson was traded to a divisional rival in the Minnesota Vikings. The Lions are in a really, really weird position because they have been in a rebuild for so long now. The players that they drafted mid-rebuild that were supposed to be there when they're coming out of the rebuild and still going to be superstars are now getting to the point where they're getting up there in age. So they have to trade them away. And TJ Hawkinson is one of those players. He was a first-round pick in the 2018 NFL Draft. And he did not disappoint for the Lions. He has been a superstar his whole career thus far. But he has not had a very good team to work with. It's the Lions people. So the Lions decided to do him a favor and ship him out to a better team. The weirdest part of this trade was the fact that it was a divisional rival they traded to. The Minnesota Vikings. Why would you trade a player to a divisional rival. A couple years down the road, the Lions could be competitive, but who knows? TJ Hawkins can, could be the player that eliminates them from playoff contention because of one touchdown catch because of the fact that they traded him away. We don't know, but they traded him to a team they're going to be playing twice a year for years. So it doesn't exactly make sense to me. Normally you want to ship him further away preferably out of the conference, so you don't have to see him that often. But for some reason, the Lions decided to trade him to a divisional rival. Now, the Vikings could use a bit of tight end help. Irvin Smith has looked fine when on the field, but he struggled with injuries. Just today, he was put on IR with a high ankle sprain, which means that they desperately need tight end help. After Irvin Smith, they have no one. Now that both Kyle Rudolph and Tyler Conklin have left, but now they have a new superstar tight end. The next Kyle Rudolph, possibly, in TJ Hawkinson. And he's still pretty young as well. I believe he's 24. So he could be on this Vikings team long term. And imagine him, Justin Jefferson, Adam Thielen, Dalvin Cook, Alexander Madison. We'll see what happens with him. He's a free agent this offseason. All on that team for Kirk Cousins. This is just great. If they had Patrick Mahomes on this team, I believe they would win the Super Bowl. Kirk Cousins is a solid quarterback, but he isn't a superstar. But now the Vikings have been able to build around him so that he can look even better because he has the weapons to look amazing. If you threw Kirk Cousins on the Texans, he wouldn't be that good of a quarterback. But since they've surrounded him with such good weapons his whole career, then he has always played pretty well in Minnesota. And this bodes well for them. This season, they're a competitive team. And luckily for them, the Packers are not. And also, the Packers didn't trade for anyone today. Which means the Vikings could win this division easily. Beating out the Packers, Aaron Rodgers, who has tortured them for so long now, could finally be eliminated at the hands of Kirk Cousins. So the Vikings are trying to build up to this. I don't think they're going to win the Super Bowl, but they should win the division with this roster because of what they've done. And I've got to give credit to the new regime and Kevin O'Connell because this team is playing great. Something Mike Zimmer could not do with this team. They have, all have new young energy in the roster and they are proving it. In exchange, the Detroit Lions received a 2023 second round pick and a 2024 third round pick. I would say that's a pretty solid return. TJ Hawkinson, too, has had some injuries, so the Vikings gotta hope he stays healthy because two tight ends on injury reserve would be very bad for them. But the Lions got a couple of picks, and maybe they can use one of them on a new superstar tight end. But what they really need to focus on is the defense, because their offense has been solid this year. But 
Their defense just can't hold it up at all. And I can't blame them. Their defense does not have very good players. Aiden Hutchinson has plenty of potential, but you can't be relying on a rookie to be your superstar defensive end that they need. So it'll be a couple of years before the Lions are in playoff contention, but at least now they've got the picks to continue the rebuild and hopefully come out of it this time. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys again extremely soon.